How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I appreciate you stopping by. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to create a soundboard and you can also do this for any other type of tiles for any other type of options on your stream deck. I just wanted to create a soundboard and kind of show you guys how you can kind of bring it to life by either adding an image and it could just be a regular flat image or you can add a GIF and that way you can kind of have it be a little bit more animated and have it come to life. So first thing you're going to want to do is create a folder. So this is going to be like your main thing. It's probably going to be empty and stuff like that. But as you can see, I created a folder. The way to do that is you can just find an empty tile, right click on your mouse and go to create folder. And then you'll have this folder here. You can give it a name and then you'll click into the folder. But I'm going to delete this one since I have one created. So once you have it created, just click into it. And then you'll have this here. This is going to always be here so you can navigate back. And now we're just going to fill these in. So I have three different sounds. So on the actual Stream Deck program, it's not going to show them animated. So don't freak out if it's not animating. But you should see it animate on your actual Stream Deck. So once you have everything set up, what you're going to want to do is not just test it. So, you know, I'll play that, make sure everything comes through. And then I have one for the other button. And you'll see on your stream deck that it's actually going through. And you'll see that it's got the the wave and everything of the sound. It shows the duration and everything like that. So that's going to be good. And now, unfortunately, again, it doesn't show it on the stream deck of everything moving. But I went from left to right on my stream deck. So that way I was able to make sure everything was working fine. Now, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually do this, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one of these empty tiles and I'm going to go over here on the right hand side where it shows soundboard. And what I'm going to do is just click left click and drag the play audio and drop it in. So now these are all the properties that you're going to have. So you can uh, you can give it a title if you want to. The file is going to be the file for where you're going to pull the sound from. And then you'll have actions of being able to either have it where it will play and stop. You can play and overlap. It can play and restart, or you can leave it on a loop and it will just keep playing and stuff like that until you decide you want to stop it. So the way that the button works is if you want to play the sound for just like a certain bit of time, then you would manually start it and manually stop it. That's pretty much how it is. You have your volume slider here. You can either choose if you want it to fade in or fade out or fade in and out for whenever the sound comes in and leaves and stuff like that. I usually just leave no fade. And then for your output device, for me, I have it as default, but I also have the option for my speaker. So, but I just leave it as that. So what I'm going to do is click on the three dots here and it's going to allow me to go into the folder that I created. So I have a DBZ, I have the game over and I have victory. So on my stream deck, game over, obviously game over. And then the guy dancing victory, and then Gohan DBZ. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the game over, hit open, and now you can see that it already started populating some text. So you can you can edit the text if you want to. You can decide if you want it to show a title. You can choose the position of the title of where you want it to go. You can choose the different fonts that are here. And you can also mess with the um, different points. You can make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, so that way it fits. You can have an underline if you want to. You can even change the font color if you want to. But for me, I'm just going to get rid of the actual font. So now to actually bring in the image, you're going to click on this little arrow here where it shows the icon. So that way you'll get these options here. And you're going to do the set from file. So when you do set from file, what you're going to do is go into wherever it is that you had created everything. So as you can see, I have a bunch of different ones here. And since we decided to do game over, I'm just going to click this one. So now I have game over. I can see it on the stream deck doing the animation, but I can't see it here. Now, if you see here very closely, there is a little bit of some black underneath all of these. And there's a workaround for it. So if you go and click on the arrow again, and if you go to create new icon, what it's going to do is it's going to open up a web page for you. And you're going to see something like this. Now I've gone over this already in another video, which I will, I will link in the video description below. 
But what you're going to want to do is click on the image icon here. So it's got like a mountain with a like a sky. So when you click on that, you're going to want to go back to the folder and you're going to want to click on one of these. Now, all of these kind of have that border, but we're going to take Gohan because his was a little bit worse out of all of them. So when I select it, now you can see that there's a lot here. Now, what you can do is you can manually adjust it and kind of try to fill it in, but you can just easily click on height and it will do it for you. Now, not all images are gonna work well like this. So Gohan still being centered and everything like that, it still worked pretty well. But let's say I wanted to choose a different image. Let's say I wanted to choose Ace Ventura. Now you can definitely see that this is very wide shot, which makes it kind of hard to kind of see what's going on. So if I was to do the same thing, now you can see that there's this, and obviously I can move it around and everything, but the core like subjects of what's going on, like him pointing at something, like if I tried to center it, he's still kind of cut off. But if I do this, we don't really know like what's going on in the shot. So can't really use this. So you gotta find something different. And where I'm finding all of these is on Giphy. So that's where I'm finding every one of these. But that is a way for you to do that. So we'll go ahead and we'll just use Ace as an example. And then you'll save a key. You give it a name and we'll bring it into the folder here. And we'll just leave it as that. And now once it's saved, we'll go back to our stream deck. And then we'll make sure it's selected. We'll go here, drop down, set from file. And now we have our new image. So then when we fit that in there, this one unfortunately will not be animated though. So it's gonna be just a standard flat image. And you're gonna see that here and you're gonna see that also on your stream deck. So if you want it to be animated, then you're just gonna to have to get okay with the, well, like the black borders and stuff. Now, if there's a workaround that I find later, I will definitely update you guys in the comments. But for right now, this seems to be, you just have to deal with it <laughs> pretty much. Um, but that is pretty much how you get all that stuff set up. And you can even customize your own ones in here too. So like they have a bunch that you can choose from. And again, I go over all of this in the, the other video that even shows you how to create all the tiles and stuff. So a lot of that stuff in that other video does correspond into this video, but I just thought it was really cool to to add the animated type of tiles and stuff like that to to really give it some type of flavor, I guess, to your to your stream deck. But that is pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the stream deck, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the stream deck playlist, which I also link in the video description below. And you guys can also find that on the playlist tab on the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, let me know inside of the video comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I do upload a video. And I talk about this type of stuff over on Twitch as well. So make sure you guys are following me over on Twitch, where I do a bunch of discussions for the technical side of streaming. Sometimes we do some games. But it's a, it's a good way for you to get familiar and get some questions answered live and stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video or on a live stream. Take care.